So the BlackBerry Key One was a pretty successful smartphone for BlackBerry. It brought the modern Android experience and combined it with the classic BlackBerry physical keyboard, but it definitely wasn't a phone that appealed to everyone and not everyone wants a physical keyboard. And that's where the brand new BlackBerry Motion comes into play. It basically takes everything that made the Key One so great, bumps up the specs in a few key areas and does away with the physical keyboard. One thing that I really appreciate about BlackBerry right now is that they're not afraid to do things differently. Uh, in an era where dual cameras, bezel-less displays, and curvy, sleek, pebble-like designs are all the rage, uh, the BlackBerry Motion sort of bucks all of those trends, and it all starts with the phone's design. Uh, it's made completely out of metal, so it's still very high quality and it feels great in the hand, but it has completely flat sides and chamfered edges, and it has a very sharp and angular look to it. It's also a very asymmetrical design. Uh, the top is rounded, whereas the bottom is completely flat, and the top forehead is a lot smaller than the bottom chin, but the bottom chin is a lot bigger for good reason. It has a front-facing fingerprint sensor designated by that BlackBerry logo, and this is actually a physical physical clicking home button versus a solid state home button, which I thought was a little bit interesting. But it's also flanked by some really large capacitive keys, which I like a lot because some smartphones have really tiny capacitive keys and they're very hard to press. So I appreciate that these keys are nice and large and they're really easy to find. On the back side, there's a faux carbon fiber pattern, which not only looks really nice, but it's also very soft to the touch and gives the phone a lot of grip. The buttons on this phone are also really high quality. They're made of metal, so they're very clicky and tactile, and they all live on the right side, which I don't mind. You have the volume rocker up top, the power button in the middle, and BlackBerry's signature convenience key, which has a nice ridge texture to it. But I kind of wish these buttons were in a slightly different order because when you hold the phone, your thumb naturally rests on the convenience key instead of the power key. So I kind of wish the power button and the convenience key were swapped. Because the BlackBerry Motion doesn't have a physical keyboard taking up a ton of space, that gives you a lot more room for a larger display. So what you have here is a 5.5 inch LCD with 1080p resolution, and it's not the most attention grabbing display, but it is a pretty good looking screen. It has vibrant colors, good viewing angles, and outdoor visibility is not really that big of an issue. Uh, my biggest problem with this screen though is that it has this durability coating, which is meant to protect the screen from scratches, but it makes the screen really hard to keep clean from fingerprints and it's also very tacky to the touch. It's almost as if there's a screen protector sitting on top of it even though it's just pure glass. Inside, it has the same exact specs as the BlackBerry Key One, so Snapdragon 625 and 4GB of RAM, and it's not the fastest performing phone. It's not gonna blow you away in terms of benchmarks, and yes, you will notice the occasional stutter from time to time, and certain applications like Snapchat don't perform quite as smoothly as they do on other flagship smartphones, uh, but generally speaking, it's a very good performing phone. It still launches apps quickly, and it still plays all the graphically demanding games extremely well, so even though there are the occasional stutters, I never felt like it broke the experience. The biggest benefit to the Snapdragon 625 is the battery sipping properties. And when you combine that with a huge 4,000 milliamp hour battery, you get a recipe for some very long lasting battery life. And I love the battery life on the Motion. It easily lasts me a full two days with a consistent six hours of screen on time, which is really impressive. And that's even with pretty heavy usage with a lot of gaming, a lot of YouTube watching, a lot of viewing streams on Twitch. Uh, so I really love the battery life on this thing. There's no wireless charging though, even though it has a non-metal backside, but you do get the standard Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 whenever you need to fill up. As far as hardware is concerned, you'll be pretty happy to know that it does come with a headphone jack, and it also has expandable storage via micro SD if you need more. And it's also IP67 water and dust resistant. So it has all the bells and whistles of a 2017 smartphone, or at least all the bells and whistles that we would expect from a 2017 smartphone. The cameras on the BlackBerry Motion are exactly the same as the cameras on the BlackBerry Key One. So you have an eight megapixel camera on the front, a 12 megapixel camera on the rear, and the camera itself is very simplistic. You don't really get a whole lot of shooting modes outside of the basic stuff like panorama and slow motion video. You're not gonna find any fancy background defocusing effects or portrait mode on this camera. And the camera itself is just okay. You can get some pretty nice looking shots in well-lit or outdoor situations uh, with vibrant colors, great 
contrast and pretty nice detail, but it's very quick to fall apart in low light situations. Uh, photos are very noisy, very washed out, and they're typically overexposed, especially in the highlights. And the camera is just very sluggish in low light. It's slow to capture, and it also constantly hunts for focus that it makes it very cumbersome to use in low light. My favorite part about any BlackBerry Android phone has to go to the software, not only because it's really close to stock Android, but also because BlackBerry's customizations are all really useful. It starts with the BlackBerry Hub, which aggregates all of your social media, your text messages, your emails, etc., all into one place, making it really easy to check. So you're not jumping back and forth between multiple applications just to check all of your notifications. There's also a lot of other really nice touches like the swipe up on app icons to open the apps widget and the privacy shade which basically blacks out your entire display except for a small little window to make it harder for other people to read what's on your screen. And of course, with this being a BlackBerry, you get BlackBerry's best-in-class security software with DTEK, which always ensures that your phone is secure and your data is always encrypted. The biggest drawback to the BlackBerry Motion right now is its limited availability. It's currently only available in select markets like the Middle East and Canada. No US availability just yet, so hopefully that's coming soon. Uh, but like I said, the BlackBerry Motion is a key one without a keyboard and a few upgraded specs. And if that's exactly what you're looking for, the BlackBerry Motion is your answer. Let's just hope it comes to more regions sooner than later because it's a pretty awesome smartphone that I think a lot of people will wanna get their hands on. So that wraps up this review of the BlackBerry Motion. I hope you all enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. We definitely appreciate it. And subscribe to the channel, which is also down below if you haven't already. And of course, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. And check us out on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Google+, Plus. all that good stuff will be linked down below. And of course, check out the website as well for more more in-depth coverage, androidauthority.com because we are your source for all things Android.